Hey, what's up motivators? Taryn here. If you're a beginner runner and you are struggling to build up the endurance to be able to run continuously without feeling tired, without feeling out of breath, without feeling sore, we're going to talk about the scientific reason behind this and how you can adjust your training to force your body's physiology to be able to build up endurance without question. Let's get into it. When regular people want to do something personally amazing in an endurance event, they use motive training plans. Whether you're just getting started or you've done several events and want a little more structure to step up your game, we know what it takes to get amateurs to their goals, no matter how big or small. You can accomplish anything you want. You just need a plan designed for the unique needs of people with families, jobs, and a busy life. The motive training method is that plan to get you to the start line feeling confident and across the finish line feeling strong. The first thing that beginner runners need to do when they start taking up running is they need to build the durability to be able to run continuously for a decent amount of time, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. This is accomplished primarily from walk, run, learn to run programs, where you're gradually just building up the ability to be on your feet and withstand the pounding of running. But in a lot of cases, most of those walk, run programs fall short of getting the athlete actually ready to build up endurance, to run for longer periods of time, to take on a proper training plan. They build the ability for the athlete to actually go and perform the task of running, but not actually perform the task of running well. So maybe you've gone through a walk run program or a learn to run program, which is excellent. That's the place that most people should start. But once you complete that program, it's time to move on to actually getting your physiology ready to build up endurance. What's happening when people take up running and all endurance sports is they just don't have the mitochondrial density to actually perform the action. Mitochondria are the energy producers of our muscles. They're what takes oxygen and calories and turn it actually into energy. But with most new runners, because they haven't been actually working their mitochondria and producing a lot of energy with exercise, their mitochondrial density is fairly low. So just for saying sake, Let's say that we have a very low mitochondrial density and we're really, really struggling to run. Whereas an experienced runner has a lot of mitochondria and their mitochondria, their energy producers are functioning really well. Well, of course, the experienced runner is going to be able to produce more energy. They're going to have a much easier time actually going and running because their energy production system is really well tuned. But for the new runner, it's just hard to produce enough energy. So you start feeling like you're fading. You're not able to build up a lot of endurance. You're struggling when you start running long. And what we need to focus on as somebody who is a new runner and looking to build up endurance is building our mitochondrial density. And this is where it gets into the training plan. How do you actually build that mitochondria that is going to allow you to build up your endurance? The first thing that you need to do is you need to run a lot at a very low intensity. This is commonly known as zone two or low intensity training or mafetone method training. Why this is the secret to building up mitochondrial density is because zones two and three in a five zone intensity training system build up a lot of mitochondria per minute of exercise. In zone three, yes, we are building up a lot of mitochondria, but we're also building up a lot of lactic acid, which hampers the second part of creating this mitochondrial energy production system. When we've built up a lot of lactic acid in the system, it becomes harder on the hard workout days to push very hard. And that's the second step in building a lot of mitochondria. While zones two and three build up a lot of mitochondrial density, it's zones four and five, the intense work that really teaches that mitochondria how to work very well. It stresses it, making that mitochondria much more efficient and actually able to produce a lot of energy. And what we're looking to create isn't a lot of mitochondrial density. What we're looking to create is a system and structure in our body that is able to produce a lot of energy. So it's not enough just to have a lot of mitochondria. We want to have a lot that can function really well. And the functioning really well part is done by very intense running. 
So practically speaking, what you should be doing is roughly 75 to 80% of your runs should be very, very low intensity. Such low intensity that you might have to turn them into a hike or a run walk or a very low intensity shuffle where you feel almost guilty about how slow you're going. This is the right intensity level for you to build a lot of mitochondria while not building up a lot of lactic acid. Then 20 to 25% of the runs should be hard, very hard. A lot of intense workouts where you're going max effort for 30 seconds up to eight minutes where you're working tremendously hard and teaching all that newfound mitochondria how to work really well. A well-designed training plan is built around these principles that the polarized nature of most of your work being at a low intensity effort level, building up a lot of your energy production system, and then 20 to 25% of your workouts being focused on teaching that energy production system how to work is critical for the development of athletes that want to perform well especially when it comes to building up endurance. Because when it comes to building up endurance, it's just do you have enough energy to go as fast as you want and for as long as you want. So focusing on this proper production of your energy system is how you unlock the key to endurance. What you'll find when you get into this is running at a low intensity effort level is very, very challenging. If you want help on how to do that, we have a video that you can click on on the screen right now that is our complete guide to how to get into zone two run training, which is the basis around good training plans and building up your run endurance. Hopefully you found this helpful. Later motivators.